What is happening, guys? It is what is today? It's Thursday, the day after Christmas. And uh, I told you guys we'd do, keep this little series going on this uh, 13 Charger police car that I bought. Well, here we are so far. Put a used fender on it. That hood is the original hood. I'm going to show you something. I know I did like a quickie video on it uh, the other day. This hood on this car is aluminum. And let me tell you what, never again will I attempt to fix an aluminum hood. Here is a picture of the car when I bought it. Okay? That hood is <laughs> trashed. But I straightened it out. And the thing is, the aluminum, it rips. And the stuff is so tinny. I mean, it's, you might, it's, it would really honestly be like working on a damn pop can. All right, this stuff is just terrible. So I'm going to show you what I did. I just have the headlight actually just sitting in here right now just for, um, for reference just to see where everything was going to line up. All right. So I'm just going to pull this out of here real quick. We'll pop the hood. I have another light coming for the car. All right, so I'm going to show you what I did here. And I and, and remember I told you guys the other day, or maybe it was yesterday, that basically no rules apply to this thing. It's basically just make the thing drivable, make it decent. It's not a customer's car. It's my car. I can do what the hell I want with my own car. So some of the things that I'm doing, <laughs> I really shouldn't even be putting on video, but you guys know that I am dead honest with everything that I do. I tell you how it is always have all right and it is a 13 charger with 115,000 miles check out this airbag all right <laughs> i actually took the bags over there laying on the seat the original bag i don't know if you can see it there i took the cover off the bag and windshield urethane the whole back side of it i put tape on the outside windshield urethane the back side of it and put it back together i don't know uh, actually i'll just open the door you can still see a little bit of a rip in it right there but it's a lot better than what we were working with before the hood pops nice core support still mangled the shop is trashed but I'm gonna show you guys deep dark evil here so is what I did with this hood and guys, I mean, if it's your own car, do what you got to do. But <laughs> this is not something I would do on a customer vehicle. Right here on this hood, there is, um, there's kinks in it. So when the car crashes, the hood's designed to fold right there. Well, so what happened is every time I went to open and shut the hood, the thing was just flexing. It, it was ready to rip in half. So I actually took expand a foam. I shouldn't even be telling you this. I took expand foam and actually filled up all these cavities in here. All right, you can see it here. Here I really didn't have to do a whole lot. I did the same thing down here. All right, there was a couple holes in here. I filled the cavities full of foam, let it sit for a couple hours underneath that kick-ass heater. All right, and right here you can see it's thick. It's probably a quarter inch thick right there, okay? But the hood was ripped. It was just, I, I couldn't do anything with it. So I, I used some, uh, some fiber all and I just, I rebuilt that corner. All right, the thing shuts good. The body work, I mean, it's hard to tell. All right, because it's just a rough coat of primer on it. And the body work isn't terrible. I mean, it, it's going to be decent for a driver. That's, it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it is what it is. It's a 13 retired police car, all right? We know what these cars go through throughout their whole lives. And, uh, I mean, it's what it is. I got to screw around with these gaps a little bit, though. The fender gap's a little wide here. Fender gap on this side. A little wide there. So I still have a little adjusting and tweaking to do. I just wanted to see. I've never really tried. I've always thought about it. I'm like, man, what if you put expand a foam? you know, in these panels to, because what was happening right here where this major kink was, it was going do 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 bad. Same thing here, it was do 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 
And same thing here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. It was just, I, I couldn't work with it. So that's why I filled those cavities full of foam. And when that foam gets hard, I mean, you're good. Sabotaru, half that car is built with freaking these cans of expanda foam. All right. Foam. And it's light. The hood stays up on its own, and the shocks on these things are pretty weak. But the hood stays up on its own, even with probably a pound and a half of body filler. I don't know how much body filler is in it. But there is some filler in it. You know, but I mean, again, it's a driver. All right, we're going to run the living snot out of this stupid thing. I still got to work with that frame rail a little bit. I got a headlight coming. I said to heck with it. I found one on eBay. 71 bucks. Shipped to my doorstep. Done. Headlights coming. Bumper cover was 100 bucks. That's on its way. I should be seeing that stuff Monday or Tuesday this week. So is what I'm going to do now is basically I got to get that uh, the transmission leak fixed on the car. I believe on these cars, I know the Fords are the same way. I've had a few of the Taurus and the Explorer interceptors ripped apart. But the tranny cooler, it's the same setup. You got your AC on the bottom. All right. And the transmission cooler is actually on the top of the AC condenser. That's my assumption. I think that's where it's leaking. I mean, this, the siren came back and wailed it pretty good back there. I don't know if you could see it. Um, I don't know. I really haven't looked into it. It's not going to be anything too severe, I don't think, so. If i got to put a radiator in it, got to put a radiator in it. But Fiberol is the trick on this. A little bit of foam in there to firm things up. That Fiberol and that kink, all right, where it's designed to kink and fold in half when you wreck the stupid thing. I mean, the hood did its job, but, and I found a used one for 250 and I was going to do it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to fix this. If I, if I can, I can. If I can, I can't. Longevity, couldn't tell you. This thing might last forever, this hood. This hood, it might, it might blow the body filler right out of it in a month. I don't know. I haven't worked with aluminum a whole lot. I have worked with the aluminum Ford hoods a little bit. But they were just, you know, a little kink in the corner in the center. You know, something something pretty simple. And this aluminum actually ripped. It ripped here. And it ripped underneath, too. That's why I just, I'm like, you know, I'm going to try packing it with fiber all. We're going to see what happens. Put some foam in there, let it get good and hard so it doesn't tin can effect on me. And put fiber all on it. So this will be a good, does it work or won't it work? And, and with my own stuff, I don't mind doing this stuff because it not only educates you guys it educates me as well all right i mean anybody can buy a hood you know and the hood for 250 it was damaged so <laughs> i mean i i literally have four hours into this hood four hours all right would you replace four hours of your time for 250 bucks me it's worth the four hours of my time some of you guys with a lot more money than me oh you'd spend 800 for a cool hood all right i'm only into this car so far for less than a thousand dollars so it's a budget it's a driver all right it's nothing special it's a six cylinder you know charger police car so that's where we're at with it guys i thought i'd give you a little update if you got any questions or whatever or maybe you guys have worked with aluminum i know a lot of guys that actually do body work and collision work for a living watch my channel um what results have you had with it? I'm curious. I mean, me, you know, like this van, that's what I do. You know, a little dents, you know, rust, things like that. I don't really get into the heavy hits. And I, and I don't do a whole lot of collision work. So maybe you guys can educate me a little bit too. So, you know, throw me some comments. Tell me what you think. Think it's going to hold? Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Who knows? But we're out. Y'all have a goody goody. Thank you for watching. And we'll do another video probably on Sunday or Monday because I have the little one this weekend. All right, we're out. Off.